Rager Danger. Nobody said the bike life would be easy. Episode number 34. It looks like we're going at a high rate of speed in traffic. It looks like there's a merge lane to the right. And it looks like there's another yellow sign on the right side of the roadway. Let's see what occurs. Looks like we got a merge. Lane splitting. Lane splitting. Truck turns or moves over to the left. Hey, you're going at a high rate of speed, and they came over. Two wrongs don't make a right, but hey, you got to expect that's going to occur when you're going 43 miles an hour, and you're going by those vehicles that look like they're probably going 20, half your speed. Now he's angry. Oh, now he illegal, illegally crosses two white lines. You can't do that. He's mad at him. Oh, the car decides they want to get over here too because there's less people. They also cross two white lines. Again, two wrongs do not make a right, but here we go. I don't know why you're revving. They're not going to hear your exhaust. It's pointing the wrong way. You both did a wrong. And now you're going 55, 56 miles an hour past people lane splitting who... Obviously, you're going a lot faster than surrounding traffic. So more than double probably the speed here. I mean, you don't think somebody might want to get over? I'm just saying. Whoa! Oh my, oh my. Hey, got to take a look at that again. Here we go. All the way from the right swoops in. Oh, I would be mad. I would be furious. This was one. If he took the mirror, I wouldn't even care. Going pretty quick here. Lane ends. Lane ends. Remember, you got a white car, Mercedes there. Lane ends. Starts coming. Well, yeah. They were they were probably still there. You know, they're probably wondering, what in the, on the earth are you doing? You did not. Yes, it's a, called the zipper, but at the same time, they don't have to let you merge in. You got to control that. You could have easily fallen back and got behind that Mercedes, but instead you wanted to play the game until it totally ended. When that occurs, and I've done that on a motorcycle, I just, you know, I don't yell at people. I don't beep at them. I just use the shoulder there. I'm around. They might move over, whatever, you know. You know, I don't really care, you know. I knew it was ending. I took the risk in... Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you're both idiots, probably, but uh, I don't see the car was that big of a at fault there. It wasn't really a fault. Whoa! It looks like you're going a high rate of speed, and car moves over to the right. Shouldn't have didn't use the blinker. Last minute type deal. These are how accidents occur. And uh, it was close. It was close. But hey, I'll survive for another day. High rate of speed in Newcastle, UK. Oh, you can hear him accelerate. Goes over the line a little. Goes way over the line. He can't control his bike. Almost hits a car off into the weeds and trees there. In, but keeps it up. Keeps it upright. And he is continuing on for another day. Yamaha MT-04. I guess, what are we doing? U-turn? Okay. And, ooh, look how gravelly that is. Hey, hit too much brake for the gravel and for the type of tires you have, and down you went. It's that, it's that simple. These, these type of things occur. Hopefully they learn from their mistake. And hopefully we can learn from their mistakes. Whoa! What on earth is the blue car doing? What on earth? I mean, you don't pass two vehicles anyways, in the U.S. at least. You pass one at a time, but uh, yeah, the driver should have used their mirror, should have noticed that the bike got over there to begin with. Like, where did the bike go? Oh, they're over there. They're passing. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Let's go back. You notice the rider is in the B pillar blind spot area. So probably not noticed by the mirror. Driver probably did look in the mirror, probably looked at I want benefit of the doubt, looked at his shoulder, but the rider here is in that blind spot. But the driver did good. The driver noticed 
and was like, whoa, and jerked it back. But at the t- same time, they also had to monitor that, that there was a gray car turning into the gas station there, I think it is. And, yeah, you know, um, they did a great job because they didn't hit the rider, they didn't hit the other car, and all, you know, is good. Let's uh, take a moment here on the next video. Okay. Oh, there it is. Speed limit. 35 so it's a 35 zone let's see what happens i like pointing out the speed limits because a lot of times you riders riders go too fast okay drivers turning that that looks fine yeah car in your left mirror okay i see that whoa they honk and they blow by you even though you had previously a vehicle in front of you and they use the Left turn lane as a passing lane, highly illegal, very ticketable. So they illegally pass you. I would have just let it go right there. You got their plate, you got the vehicle, you looked at them. That's not a very good uh, picture of the driver, but it's something to go on at least. It's a 35 zone still. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah. So why are you getting mad? Why are you going to now do stuff? They're obviously crazy. Let them go. What's your problem? Why are you trying to pass somebody that is crazy and wants to be in front of you and has obviously, for some reason, taken their bad day out on you? You got their plate. You got the description of the car. You kind of got who was driving. It looked like a black male. You know, and they're driving in the turn lane. And look, you can even see right there. They're crossing over the double yellow, which because they were in the turn lane. So, you know, very ticketable offenses. This is probably California, so the police probably won't care. But it depends if you say, I want to file charges. And yes, I'm a witness. My GoPro was also evidence slash a witness. So yes, file those. Just know you're going to have to go to court. That's all. I, I don't think I would have flicked the guy off. Because if he was already that mentally unstable, then a good chance he might do something else. And I'm glad to see that the video ended there so i hope nothing else transpired and the rider went on his day without any altercation from a mentally ill person whoa what was that antifa with a hood what on earth that's just that's a crazy wow portland portland is crazy a nurse dressed what what does that mean hey if you know what she's doing and what that would imply or mean uh let me know in the comment section i'm not well versed here maybe i'm too old i don't understand what that means what what are they doing is that an insult does that mean look at my body what does that mean and why are you dressed like a nurse and you're behaving like this Yeah, I'd go too. I mean, yeah, crazy is happening. And this is Portland. Portland has a bunch of whacked out people, as we see in the news all the time. Still, right now, you still got Antifa, BLM, causing chaos in Portland. You got these nut jobs. Yeah, you know, I don't want to get too political in this type of video, but I'm surprised people are still living in Portland. Anyone with a brain should be out of there finding a job elsewhere why are you living in such a bad city a rundown city a city going to shit <laughs> i'll be quite frank with you <laughs> i mean whoa car's totally at fault there the learner did a great job and uh you know staying upright and braking
I can't tell. We saw a stop I sign here. What? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, car hits the motorcycle. I couldn't even tell what was going on there. Uh, Russia, Ukraine, someplace like that. Whoa, that was close. I don't know who had the right of way. You couldn't really tell the light there. Yeah, we can't really see that light. I'm trying to look. Can't tell. Can't see the light. Is the light even working? I don't know. Whoa, that was close. Doesn't sound like they hit. <laughs> Taps. Person drives. I'm guessing the blue car is at fault. Is why the rider is kind of like, hey, and uh, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> I love how like the other people are just like, oh, even though this is going on, instead of slowing down, maybe and coming to a stop to figure out the situation, they're just turning anyways. They don't care. He points to the camera. Yeah, you wonder what occurred because. They didn't make contact, so there was no insurance claim. There's nothing to report. There was no accident. This cannot be true. Not even set the indicator. It's unbelievable. No, it's very believable. It happens all the time. Australia. Down under. Accelerates kind of hard, but seems like he's letting off. Okay, probably going the speed limit. Ooh, car just pulls out blindly, and it wants to stop and turn right. Wow! Not only do you just pull out blindly and not accelerate, you're pulling out blindly to make to stop to turn right. Wow! <laughs> yeah, car's fault, hundred percent. What's the rider going to do? Let's it go. That's how you do. You just let it go. Give them the finger or a wave of the hand and just continue on your day. Don't like this view of the helmet. It's kind of annoying. Okay, what are we looking at? Oh, people stopping suddenly. Whoa! Yeah. That's why you always stay to the left. You're going to come to a stop with a motorcycle in the U.S., stay to your left because if something happens like this, they're kind of trapped. They're not going to usually run into you. They're going to just hit their brakes and hit the vehicle in front. Now it's a rear-end collision. They're at fault. You okay? Yeah. Look at the damage to that van. Can't tell if the car had much damage. It doesn't look like the car really sustained any damage. Um, wow, it shows you, you know, the rear of the, that van or station wagon, whatever this would be considered, got smashed in. But the white car looks like a Ford, probably an Escape, is okay. You all right? Okay, okay. I hate to be a uh, stereotypical here of Asians, but. A lot of times, man, that guy's going to be back in three years or right before the time limit for doing a lawsuit with a lawyer, suing that other guy's insurance company for all sorts of pain, suffering, back injuries. Yep, he hit the lottery. I hate people that do that, but it's very common, and that occurs a lot. And even if it's a, you're not at fault, they're going to sue every party involved if it's multi-vehicle. Seen it, seen it happen with my wife. It's disgusting. They'll sue everyone, and it's funny. Insurances companies will just settle. So one company might settle for thirty thousand dollars, another will fifty, another for a hundred, and soon enough that guy comes out like a couple hundred thousand dollars, whatever they share with the lawyer, and it's it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. Um, I hate to uh, say Asian, that's what they're going to do, but I've just seen it way too many times, 
and there's a good chance, whether Asian or not, that this person is going to lawyer up and is going to claim stuff that is not even true. They probably walked away just fine, no injury, but they're going to claim stuff. It's disgusting, and it's why we have high insurance rates. What's it doing on in Australia? UK, South Wales. See a head bobbing middle. What? What are you talking about, Ryder? <laughs> oh, he's getting a little sucky sucky while he's driving. And oh, that's awesome. And hey, <laughs> he's like smiling. Oh, yeah, this is going on, man. And they don't even have tinted windows or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, good for him. A blowy. They call it a blowy. <laughs> Mexico. I lived there back in fifth and sixth grade. Part of fifth grade. Okay, turning. Ah, you see the dog accelerate. Accelerate. What are you doing? I would have accelerated right away. Stray dogs in Mexico are no joke. I had a friend that was bit. My actually best friend at the time. He was bit by a dog and he had to be flown from Mexico City back to Texas to rabies testing and to get a shot and all that because at the time they didn't i guess have that in mexico city i had just moved away from mexico so i didn't see it occur or him afterwards or anything but we had just moved to florida when when that transpired yeah stray dogs are common in mexico um and they they can be vicious so it's no joke man no joke i i like animals but i would be kicking that dog i'm sorry they don't have owners. They're strays. There's packs of strays in Mexico. And you might say, well, they look pretty well kept. Well, it could be the person that's living in the field's dog. Yeah, they feed the dog still. Or maybe neighbors are feeding the dog. But, you know, they're, they're living in packs. These dogs are vicious. Look at that dog going in for the bite. Ooh, he actually does bite. Yeah, that dog would be getting dropped. I'm sorry. And I would be accelerating at the same time. I'd be out of there. And if I ran one over, I ran one over. I'm sorry. These dogs are not the type of dogs you want. They're not pets. They are not pets. Yeah, you don't want to get bit. Look at that dog. That dog wants to go for the leg. Right before the camera turned on, an old man in a black truck pulled out in front of me. Okay, well, well, yeah, you're claiming right before the camera turned on. Yeah, BS. Okay, where's the old man? So I had a, so I had a two choice to either slam on my brakes or go around him. It should say, so I had no choice but to slam on my brakes and go around them. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but let's uh, not use eubonics here or common core. And since I was doing DoorDash, I didn't want to mess up the order. So I went around and this is what proceeded. Yeah, sure, sure. You didn't get any of that video. Okay. Red light. You're stopped. Seems legal. Well, right turn lane, then you move over to the left. Hopefully, you didn't cut off that car. You stop. Okay. What? So he pulls a weapon as if he's going to assault this uh, rider here. So maybe the rider's telling the truth. I don't know. I'm skeptical when people don't show the whole context. Possibly his camera was not working, but I would rather hear that verbally than him just putting that as a you know description. Look 
how much do you want to argue with somebody man this guy could just pull out a gun and man, it's not worth arguing that much I would probably just gave the finger back and been like looking for the light to change to get out of there why do people go on about the old man thing you're you're getting old too every year you're getting a little older so at what point are you the old man and does somebody call you the old man think about that Whoa! Wow, but we saw that way up ahead. Here. You could see white truck coming out. Maybe the angle of the light and how it blended in. But did it blend in off camera with the naked eye? I mean, this rider is going pretty dang fast. Also has a few check engine lights on on his motorcycle, it looks like. But he's going pretty fast. I would say faster than probably is the speed limit of this road of rural USA. And you see a truck backing up with whether you have a trailer or not. Even you can see a trailer. You see the truck. I would be slowing down because I'd be wondering, does the truck see me? That's what person with a brain does they analyze the situation at the time and they say i see a truck he's backing up he's coming out of driveway you know he might not see me because he's backing up why would you assume he sees you you know and oh wait he has a trailer oh yeah i better slow down here and take in the whole situation Look at the guy on the left. I mean, seems like he's kind of probably running out, probably saying, hey, 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 you know. But this rider's going way too fast for the road, didn't analyze the situation, and almost hit a trailer. At those speeds, he could possibly have been killed because that trailer, hell, you know, they're designed with that deck, could have sliced right through that bike. I mean, hopefully he would, would have gotten ejected over, but man. Look at that. That guy on the left is like, oh my god, this rider is going to be taken out. <laughs> and then he keeps revving. You're past the situation, so what are you revving for? What, are we going to turn around? What are we going to do? I mean, check to see if you got that on video, but at the same time, hopefully the rider analyzed his own footage at the end of the day and said, you know what? I probably shouldn't have been going as fast, and I probably should have used some common sense. I saw the truck. I should have probably slowed down. Okay, a bunch of riders. It looks like they're together. High rate of speed. Using multiple lanes, passing people in the left lane, back to the right lane. Oh, now we're going to go the right lane. We're going to go around. Hey, I'm not going to say I... Ooh, bad wobble, by the way. But I'm not going to say I've never done something like this. But I don't think I would share it. <laughs> on the sidewalk. We be on the sidewalk. It's moped fever on the sidewalk. Why are we on the sidewalk? Is this something you do overseas? Can you be on the sidewalk if it's under a certain CC? Let me know in the comment section because I don't please know. Go around. Please, please, come on, go, go around. Oh, he, I'd probably ignore you too, just because you probably shouldn't be there. You probably shouldn't be on the sidewalk using crosswalks, but maybe you can. So let me know in the comments if, if they're allowed, whatever country this is, this is Germany, if they can be on the sidewalks because it's under a certain CC. But although I do see a plate there, so some of them are plated, so I would think they'd have to be on the road. Is that like Netherlands? Dutch? Um, yeah, I don't know why they're acting as pedestrians with the crosswalks. It's really bizarre to me. Yeah, this guy's mad because you probably shouldn't be in the crosswalks. High rate of speed. 
Nice twisty red. Whoa, no! Yep, that's the problem. High rate of speed. Vehicle's moving. He was probably waiting for the bicyclist on the, uh, earlier. And he was laying no hurry, so he's just crawling, letting the bicyclist have their room. Although the truck could, now it opened up there, go around. He probably didn't want to do that on the corner because it's a double yellow. Technically, you can't do that. And you're supposed to leave three feet for a cyclist. We don't know where that cyclist was a few minutes ago. So, you know, benefit of the doubt here. Um, that's why you can't be going fast in the canyons. Well, you can, but you, you're taking a risk. And that's something you have to weigh is, is the fast, fun, twisty canyon road worth the possible getting or hitting somebody or somebody pulling out in front of you. Oh, we're doing a wheelie on a moped. And hair bun guy, I, I can't take this seriously. If you know somebody with a hair bun, man, do you take them seriously? I, I wouldn't. This is so crazy, bro. I don't even know if I got it. I was literally mid wheelie when I got. This is so crazy. I got pulled over. Well, at least he stopped. So I give him that much. But it's a desert. Where's he going to go? They probably know everyone around there, right? What is this, New Mexico? Good luck um, getting away. And uh, it's, it's just so crazy, bro. Pulled over. Now they're just going in on me. This is insane, bro. The other riders obviously took off, I'm guessing. Yay. Okay. nitpicking but they do that because that will be an easy one that they'll dismiss and they'll go ahead and charge All right. uh, improper use of registration so that somebody else is while you've been in possession of this bike for three years and impeding traffic so yeah <laughs> so using somebody else's registration when the bike has actually been in your possession for three years Failing to move to the right. You guys are impeding traffic because there's more than three cars behind you guys because you guys want to be doing such an easy one to do. Okay. Good. Gotcha. Okay, right? I mean, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but. Can I just go further? Can I, can I have to throw my car? Yep. I'm going to remove that license plate because it's not yours. It's the machine's owner. God, you're running somebody else's license plate. I, this is why previous owners take your plate. I know some states the, the plate stays with the vehicle. I, I think I would just take them anyways. They can go get a different plate. I wouldn't trust you. Here in Colorado, we keep our plates. They just don't stay with the vehicle. Because the first question, when you said insurance, you don't have to have insurance though, right? It's just registration for mopeds? Or do you know? You said it. Pretty sure you have to have insurance. So you, I mean, you asked a weird question. <laughs> I think you'll under... He's trying to make fun of the cop for not knowing. CC. Huh? Anything that operates on the roadway. Okay. Makes sense. Maybe he's new. I give benefit to the doubt to the cop there because he might be new. Maybe he hasn't done a moped thing, you know, know quite what the law. You want the cop to know every single law. They don't. They're not lawyers. And even lawyers do not know every single law. And that's why two different lawyers can argue two different points of view on the same dang law in court. <laughs> that happens all the time. So you're expecting a cop to be a lawyer. I think a lot of people, sovereign citizen types, don't understand that cops aren't going to know every single law. That's why they look stuff up themselves. And if they do make a mistake, it will get dropped. But that's there's no mistake here, right? The only thing is he could probably argue the plate being bent up and not properly shown well it wasn't his plate to begin with so i see that charge being dropped now impeding traffic in doing wheelies and all this other stuff um yeah i see that that sticking i see the other two charges probably sticking uh, really though no, it's not registered. and i don't make fun of chicks with a hair bun because hey chicks have hair buns it's just funny when guys do it and they're you're not manly no you're not I'm going right there. You have a good night. All right, thank You're you. going right there. What's that mean? Got Just, a handful of tape. <laughs> you can barely see anything. So right there, that house, that's the only thing there. Yeah, you got a handful of tickets. Well, you, you're an idiot. 
now he's mad what at himself I got a handful of tickets oh huh? well you know maybe you shouldn't be riding dirty and you wouldn't get a handful of tickets and obviously your friends took off because you didn't really show how you got pulled over so it makes me wonder if there was a little bit of dodging pulling in areas to hopefully get rid of the cops and then you ended up pulling over and your buddies other kids took off uh, i can't blame them no reason for everyone to get stopped but uh yeah anyways hopefully y'all stay well stay safe my friends and like this video please comment down below i enjoy reading your comments and if you have those two wheels get out there and ride don't let these morons make it look like everyone's a moron on two wheels because we're not it's just these people that tend to share videos that don't think it through first before sharing the video. Anyways, have a good one and stay well, stay safe, my friends. Bye.